right, so here we are putting the last bit of curdy seal around the edge of this niche. And this helps just kind of seal it, make sure no water gets behind it. You can also do silicon, but I just happen to have a curdy seal tube available, so we're using this. So now we're going to put the niche here into our prefabricated hole that we've cut previously. And you can feel the curdy seal oozing there behind it. And then we'll come back in later and put our screws in. And now it's all sealed behind here. And this down here is, you can see, is at a, a slight angle to make sure that the water drains into the shower. You never want to have the bottom of your niche be flat. You always want it to be slightly angled. All right, so when we do this niche right here, this is the bottom shelf that I'm going to put in here. And I, you can see I've got these three blue spacers here. These spacers are going to make this bottom piece sit at a slight angle because you always want to angle the water down into the thing, down into the shower. Don't believe what these other bozos tell you that, oh, it's got to be perfectly flat. No, it's got to be at a slight angle. And you can see it visually, of course, but then, you know, once you put your spirit level on there, it's more than obvious that it's perfectly at an angle. Here we are in the arch niche inside the master bath. So we've tiled the marble octagons onto the back of it. And uh, we are going to be playing today with our dry fitting. This is our OG. These are OG pieces here that are going to form the border. And these are going to run down here like this. And so what we're going to do now is we have to figure out once we get up to the top of this arch, we need to cut up about 10 pieces of two inch OG. And I wanna to try to cut them so that they make a nice, tiny grout hole that you really can't tell that you made this arch out of segments. So the way that we're going to do that is we're going to measure across the arch, which I've already done that, and that's 13 inches. And then we're going to use this compass. This is a larger compass that allows you to do a larger size arch. And we're going to trace this on a cardboard and determine from there how big to cut our little segments. We're going to pre-cut them with cardboard and make sure that they fit perfectly and then we're going to cut them up. So here we've gone ahead and we've taped up a few pieces here just to see how they dry fit together and uh, this is going to look really really nice. Very classy when it's done. So you can see uh, we've cut them at 45 degree angles so that the horizontal can meet the vertical. They're going to go straight up the side here they're going to curve around the arch and they're going to come right back down the other side again to the bottom. This will look very, very nice when it's done. Okay, so we're drawing our arch now. This is the 13 inch diameter here, so I'm drawing the inside part now. And now I have the OG piece right here, so now I need to set the width of that and you can see I've already marked it here that pencil mark. So I already know now how wide to make it and I've set the compass. 
I'm going to put the compass back into the position here. And I'm going to draw my arch. And that's going to be the width of our OG pieces. You can see the arch goes all the way around there. And now with our OG pieces taped in place, we also taped in place the template for the arch. So you can see how the border is going to continue up here. And then it's going to go up and around the arch and come right back down the other side. So now we know we're going to have tiles that are cut the right width and everything. And now we're just going to make our marks for the segments throughout the arch of where we're going to cut. And now a few minutes later, we've marked all of these segments here. And we're going to trace these out onto the OG tiles and we're going to cut them. I've got all my cut OG pieces here and they're numbered and they're ready to go in order. And now here you're looking at the result of about three hours worth of work. You wouldn't think of it, it takes quite a bit of time to place all of these tiles, especially these curved segments up here at the top here, because you have to use all of these spacers And it's a, it's a huge game that you keep playing whack-a-mole. You move one piece and adjust it, and another piece falls out of whack. And then we had to use these wooden custom pieces that I cut here just to support these arch pieces here because they were trying to slide. Even if you have your thin set really super dry like I had it, it still wants to flow a little bit. These are very heavy pieces. So you got to support these. Twenty-four hours from now, we will go ahead and grout this. Okay, so we've let the grout dry overnight, and now here we are. Um, we're going to start laying the field tiles. I have a couple of little templates that you can see up here going around the arch that will help me determine how to cut my tiles that are going to go around this arch here, the niche. What we've done here is on the second layer up from the floor, you can see I have this ledger board here. And this is a straight, perfectly straight piece of bamboo flooring that's machine edged. So I know it's nice and level. And then we have it mounted to the wall here nice and level. And we're just going to rest the second level of tiles right on them. That way we know they'll be at a perfectly straight level line. And all the other tiles as we go up the wall from there will be perfectly square and level. All we have to do is just make sure that they're flat. And we're using our tile leveling system with our little uh, spacers there. And our little wedges down here in the bucket. So you can see we've got the first two tiles up now and their spacers are in place and the leveling wedges are in place. So now what we're doing is we're applying the thin set directly to the back of each tile. We put it on thick. We're going to lay it down thick first. Then what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and, and trowel it with the half inch, grout li uh, the, the half inch trowel lines. And we're not going to scrape it all the way to the bottom of the tile. You shouldn't hear any scraping when you're traveling it. So it just goes nice and smooth. Make your groove lines. And then we'll stick the tiles directly to the wall. This is much quicker, much more efficient use of time. It's cleaner. And it's the exact same thing as if you were to trowel it onto the wall. Only it's going right onto the tile. And this way you make sure that you have 100% coverage on the back of the tile. And you just simply push the tile into place, move it around a little. 
get it with the mallet and start leveling it. Here we are on day two of the tiling here of the master bathroom. So here we've gotten a fair amount of the field tiles up and the accent tiles as well. And you can see of course here we're using our tile leveling system here. And these have really been a godsend on these uh, walls here. Because mounting these giant 12 by 24 half inch thick travertine tiles, they weigh a ton. And getting them to stay level can be a challenge. So having these wedges in here really does the trick here and keeping them perfectly level from tile to tile. And here is the drain installed back. leads into the, the master shower right here and here you can see we uh, spent quite a amount of time doing the tiling in here especially that niche that you see there and I even if you look at the top here I even added this this stone the, the travertine um, crown along the top you don't see that in too many installations so I thought that would make a nice touch and this right here took us a couple of days. It took me about two days to cement all of these in. So there you have it.